Now, formation of image by concave mirror. As you have seen formation of image by a plane mirror, we followed all the rules. Similarly, here we have to follow all rules which we have done for obtaining image. Suppose you have taken a concave mirror here, midpoint of mirror we take as a pole and here is a center of this mirror, center of curvature. A line joining is straight to this is known as principal axis. Now, at midpoint exactly we take focal point as we have done, we have discussed earlier the focal point is just in between the pole and center of curvature. Suppose you have taken object is here, this is A B. A B is an extended object which is beyond center of curvature. Now, we will take two rays from the top of the object, one is parallel to principal axis. What was the rule? If any incident ray is parallel to principal axis, after reflection it will pass through focus. So, we will follow same rule, after reflection it will pass through focus as it is seen. Second we can take incident ray passing through center of curvature directly. it will go like this. After reflection it will come back that means it will retrace its path. So, there are two reflected rays one is this one is this both are meeting at this point. So, we join this point here like this and this we take as A dash and this we take as B dash. So, see here this image is obtained due to actual intersection of the reflected rays. So, this image is real, but inverted. See here size is here, this is the erect size, this is inverted one. So, concave mirror forms here in this case, image is real, inverted, but small size in the, is small, is small in the size. So, when the object is placed beyond C, image obtained is we can write in nature of the image real inverted and diminished and where is position? Position is between C and F, C means center of curvature, F is principal focus. Now, see another example of this formation of image. Suppose you have taken concave mirror here and this we take as P, this is C, this is F. Now, suppose object is at C only like this is an extended object, not a point sized. One incident ray you have taken like this, which is after reflection passing through the focus. Another incident ray I can take in this way and reflected ray is in this way. So, this is incidence, this is R, this is also one of the rule. Now, these two rays are meeting at this point. So, we join this point here, this we take as A dash and B dash. So, when the object is at C, size of the image is equal to size of the object and also image is obtained at the same position. So, in previous class we have done formation of image by concave mirror, when the object is beyond center of curvature and when the object is at center of curvature. Now, 
today we will do the formation of image by concave mirror when the object is between c and f that is center of curvature and focus and between focus and pole now see first situation when then when object is between c that center of curvature and f that is focus suppose there is a concave mirror this is the polished part this i take this is a pole this is somewhere is c and here is at midpoint exactly that is f this is difficult to take midpoint here unless you do measurement suppose object is over here this is extended object a and b we take two incident rays from here one is parallel to principal axis after reflection it passes through focus so we have taken one line parallel to principal axis after reflection passing through focus we can take another line passing through focus after reflection it will become parallel to principal axis now these two rays reflected rays are intersecting at this point so at this point is image is formed this is a dash and b dash see image is inverted but real because it is formed due to the actual intersection of the reflected rays the first image is real inverted and more than the size of the object so we can say magnified and beyond c so this was the third poje third formation of the image by a concave mirror now we can take another example when object is between f and p so when object is between f means focus and p that is pole of the mirror suppose you have taken concave mirror in this way again i am taking all that parameters which we took in the previous diagram this is f and this is c now i can extend this ray line to this side suppose object is over here you can take one incident ray parallel to principal axis after reflection it will pass through focus like this and another ray we can take from the center of curvature like this after reflection it will come back to this side in the same path now these two rays are diverging actually these two rays are not going to meet anywhere here so we proceed them this side any backward side and we get here one intersection point here of these two virtual rays at this point we get image this is a dash and b dash 